This is Alec Carson, a student of mine from my history class who lived close to me back when I lived in Lakeville. Alec loved going places. Every afternoon, I would see Alec walk his dog Jake to the dog park and meet up with his friends Neil, another one of my students, and sometimes Jonathan as well. However, this all changed back in 2020. That year, I remember that we all had to close all public areas and quarantine ourselves to prevent the spread of a virus. Alec hated quarantine and couldn't handle all the rules and guidelines. I would hear him rant about it all the time to his dad across the street when I was trying to sleep. But eventually, he turned over a new leaf. I could only wonder how Alec's story began. Hey dad, how was work today? Thanks for asking. I actually had a pretty good day. I mean, it's kind of weird getting used to working from home, but I'm still able to do it. How was your day at school? What? Things are really going to shut down because of coronavirus? That's crazy! Hey son, good to see you're back. How was it? Was there like a line to get in? How was it? I have to get all this toilet paper stuff because stores are gonna close soon. So, I mean, if there's a pandemic or not, it doesn't make a difference. But Alec, there is a difference. Check the news. Find out what's going on. This is real. This is not fair. The school can't close. I get up at 6 a.m leave to go to school at 7 a.m. and go home at 3 p.m. This- Alec, son, don't you get it? The reason they're doing this is because the CDC and Governor Newsom want to make sure people are safe. They don't want everyone to get the coronavirus. If we didn't wear masks and social distance, many, many more people would get it. Many, many more people would get sick. And many, many more people would die. Nobody wants that. This is ridiculous! Alec, don't you understand? This is for the safety of everybody because of the pandemic. It's not just about you. we got to think about everybody. I know it's hard sometimes. But let's just do it. This is crazy. We're closing schools because of coronavirus? I mean, who would do something like that? Dad, I'm leaving. Yo, what up, Alec? Yo, what up, Neil? Oh, isn't it so nice out here, dude? Like, like, like the, the, the sun shining, uh, the, the trees are looking great, the, the, the world is beautiful. Like, isn't it all just wonderful? What is this for? I don't want coronavirus and bad fat. It's okay, buddy. As long as we wear masks, 
social distance, then we will have fun. Uh, Neil, it was nice talking to you, but I gotta go to my first class, so see you at 10 a.m. Alright class, so today's lesson is about World War I, and during World War I, the French and the Germans fought each other during the Battle of Verdun. It was a very scary time because thousands, if, if not millions, of people died during that battle. It might be hard discussing this with you all because we all need to uh, band together and learn about how distance learning will work for all of us. Hey Mr. Gorov, can I go to the bathroom? Oh, sure thing buddy. Go ahead. Hey, what up, Alec? You don't have COVID, do you? <laughs> Loser. This virus, I mean, things are getting worse and worse every day. I don't want to deal with it. It's very loud and clear. Loud and clear that this is becoming a big stress hazard on me and our whole community. So please contact Governor Newsom to end this virus for good. Son, it's not that hard. Just follow the rules. You'll be safe. What's wrong with that? All right, well, what am I going to do so I can deal with this shit? You know why they're closing the schools? The governor, the CDC, they're all making recommendations based on what's safe. Come on. Get over it. But I mean, what if we die? Like, I don't want to have to wear a mask at school or social distance. Alec, if we don't take these actions, this thing could get worse. Nobody wants that. Let's just do what we're supposed to do. Fine. This is not fair. Schools are officially closing for good. After tomorrow, we're officially closing. This is not fair. We need to send Governor Newsom an email right now. Alec, this is getting more serious and more dangerous. You've got to be careful. More people are getting it. In fact, I'm going to start wearing a mask whenever I go into any public places. So? Who are you? Good day. My name is Lieutenant Lewis Irvin from the United States Air Force. Around these parts, people call me Lieutenant Lou. I've been in the U.S. military, going all the way back to Vietnam up until the present. But with this COVID pandemic taking place here, me and my boys, we can't do our maneuvers, so I'm taking a break because I need to police my community so people listen to me here because people do not listen. I got to do a good deed for the community. I got to make masks so the people will be protected when the lockdown begins. I'm actually making quite a bit of, bit of money by giving out all these tickets. Good morning class, I hope you're all doing well. So, I have some important news to say today. As of the recommendations of our Governor Gavin Newsom, the CDC, and our district most importantly, we all have decided to close schools and quarantine ourselves. This is going to be a strange time for all of us, but we just have to get through it. Listen class, this is a time to social distance, wear masks, gloves, and most importantly, stay home. Yeah, mom? Yeah, yeah, sure, whatever. Whatever, I'm going. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> oh.
Why do I feel, why do I feel strange all of a sudden? Um, um, I should probably go. <coughs> Neil, no Marcus. Keep it together. <coughs> no, no coughing. <laughs> Stop. D did I get it? Did I actually get it? Where's the phenomenon? Where's the phenomenon? Is it wrong? Is it wrong? Oh, here it is. This is a very weird thermometer, but whatever, it works. A hundred and two? what happened. I need to tell them what happened. Uh, mom? Dad? There's something I need to tell you. Story short, I I think I might have gotten infected with uh, coronavirus. Holy shit! How the fuck did that happen? Well, <laughs> you, you see, buddy, <laughs> you see, we were at a party and all, and like, uh, uh, we, uh, and like, we, apparently we were all supposed to be social distancing, but like, I didn't know that, and I, I wasn't really wearing a mask. Or <laughs> well, yes. Are you gonna be in the hospital? Uh, well, I mean. <laughs> The doctor said <coughs> I, 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 I'm going to be hospitalized tomorrow, and like, uh, they said I, I only have <coughs> a few days to live. <coughs> well, listen here. Don't you get hospitalized right after you get infected? Yes. Well, listen here. I'm going to do my own thing. Okay, so since this coronavirus is stampeding me in my business, I'm going to write a song about it.
What's your name? My name is Julia Francis. You? I'm Alec Carson. It's a pleasure to meet you. So, uh, obviously we're in this quarantine right now, and I'm very frustrated because I don't know how to deal with this quarantine, and I want to have fun, but I don't know how to have, have fun during this pandemic. Mm. I know. Come here. If we social distance and follow the rules, we'll be fine. Just stay six feet apart and follow the guidelines from the governor and CDC. Yes. So, uh, yes, my dog is getting a bit tired of waiting, but, um, yes, it was nice meeting you. So, uh, what's your phone number? 949-234-8336. All right, fine. 949-243-8321. Damn, your phone number is just like mine. I know, right? Yes, well, it was nice meeting you, so bye, Alec. Bye, Julia. Okay, what do you want? I'm very busy. Okay, well here's the thing for your thing. We can have less dogs here and modify what we do, but me and my dog are going to the dog park. You got that? But people can die, my fellow American. <laughs> Listen here, you better shut it right now or I'm giving you a ticket. Okay. Jonathan Booker has given me a job? This is incredible! Did you wake up in a free country? Do you hate having to wear a mask? Do you hate social distancing? Well then you'd be a perfect employee for the brand new business studio, Colored Fighters Operations. The only studio where we bashed on the government for making us social distance and wear a mask because we woke up in a free country. Apply now. Your voice must be heard. Yes, the driving will do, but the hospital is fairly close, so I can walk. First of all, I don't even know if they're going to let you go in the hospital because your friend is so sick. If you do go to the hospital, though, buddy, you've got to wear a mask, and you have to wear gloves. No mask, no gloves. Oh, 
Hello, this is Alec Carson at COVID Fires Operations. We're here to save the fact. This is a bad pandemic, and we need to reopen things now before things get worse. I have a friend who named Neil, who is sick in the hospital from coronavirus, and we want to support. But I demand that the dog parks reopen tonight, because my dog bit me this morning due to the fact the dog parks are closed. Okay? Thank you. Hey, man, what you doing here? What are you doing here? Excuse me, you don't have that right. Well, you're trespassing on private property. And private property means you gotta wear a mask. Or not, you're out of here. Fine. Oh, hey, Alec. How you been? Good. What about you? I'm doing pretty good. Okay, well, here's the thing. I know I'm doing okay, but I met this girl named Julia Francis. And uh, she's this very pretty girl. And I want to ask her out as fast as possible. But I don't even know how to do that stuff. So can you give me some advice? Well, for me, as what I would do is probably just talk to her, get to know her first, and then I'd ask her out. That's what I would do. Well, the truth is, I'm ready now. Well, it's up to you. I mean, then again, I'm not going to boss you. Just my suggestion. Well, here's the thing here. I'm fine uh, with, um, I guess, just um, you know, maybe making things a bit different due to what's going on, but I'm not staying home here. It's just the things is that Neil's hospitalized, for one thing, another thing, this girl may not like me, but if something happens and Andrew. you're all I got, then I prefer that we do something so I'm not lonely. Well, I'm an introvert, so I like games and my kitchen and my computer, so I think I'm gonna stick to my quarantine lifestyle, but yeah. All right, well, thanks for giving me a job. You're welcome, man. Checking in for Neil Markin. Okay. Room 38, level 2. Hey, Neil. I'm fine, I'm just worried about getting infected with coronavirus. <coughs> oh, uh, <laughs> dude, that's really not the best idea. <laughs> yeah. uh, you're will get <laughs> infected. <laughs> okay, well maybe I can try. <coughs> no, dude, <coughs> please, please, <coughs> just stay home. <coughs> <coughs> uh, listen, man. <coughs> Uh, traveling to places like <coughs> it isn't really smart right now. <coughs> you, you, dude, you could seriously get infected. <coughs> listen, man, listen. <coughs> China was the first place I had, okay? <coughs> you, you'd be out of your mind if you were to go there. <coughs> well, Neil, it was nice seeing you. I gotta get home, but thanks for being a pleasant friend. I'll pray for you. And I'll be back tomorrow, and I hope... This is another broadcast from the epic, independent studio, COVID Fighters Operations. The only studio where we bashed on the government for making us social distance and wear masks because we woke up in a free country. Today we have a song called Reopen the Dog Park by one of our favorite employees, Alec Carson.
song about reopening a dog park? This is a horrible song. They should write a song about the military or wearing two masks or something. Good golly gee willy. Okay class, I'm gonna go ahead and mute all participants. Alright, so good morning everyone. As always, I hope you're all doing well. Please turn on your webcam so I know it's you, Alec. Thank you. Alright, so let's get started. Now because we're doing distance learning, I have decided to assign all students eight multiple choice questions for each individual battle of World War I. So this week, all the way through Sunday, Sunday the 6th, that is the window to finish all of your World War I battle assignments, and I'm giving full credit. Any questions about that? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take attendance now. I have of the song, but the first battle to feature mechanized warfare. So, first of all, the Germans, uh, the, the Germans were dug up in the trenches, but then the British came in with their huge tanks. Oh. Took it down, Notch! Alex, pull it together. Support right away. Alright, that is all I have to say. Get started on those questions, and good luck. Check in to see you no more, okay? Hey, Neil. Hey, Alec. <laughs> How was your <coughs> day at uh, <coughs> work? Good. How have you been? A bit better. <laughs> um, very little cough. I mean, uh, my fever's going away, stuff like that. <coughs> so, I mean, um, hopefully things get better from here. I, I mean, I'm losing my I mean, for the most part, like, I'm, I'm just tired, you know? I get it, man. One more the nurse, but you come home. Uh, well, buddy, <coughs> uh, we, we, we can definitely, we can definitely have fun tomorrow. <coughs> as long as we are our <coughs> masks and uh, <coughs> social distance. Okay. <laughs> Thank, thanks, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> uh, please, please don't travel. <laughs> Dad, they can't close restaurants like this. It's Neil, not everyone. Alec, I don't like this bad attitude. You know, I might have to put some restrictions on you. How would you like to be grounded? G-R-O-U-N-D-E-D. -E grounded. Pull it together, buddy. There's no inside eating allowed. None whatsoever. Outside eating only. Inside eating is a race. Okay, this CFO thing is going way too far. Hello, this is Alec. Hey Alec, how are you doing? I'm doing good, what about you? Good. We'd very much appreciate it if you were to stay Sorry. home, please. I'm really mad about COVID, and I'm gonna work here. What, do you like it or not? So you can boss me, but I'm staying here- Please don't talk to me like that. Well, Thank I called you. someone yesterday to reopen the dog park, but it's not open yet. Look, I get it. I have a dog too. Okay. But it's gonna be closed till May. Well, I heard the closing of restaurants, and you know how it makes me feel? It makes me very angry. In fact, it disgusts me. This is really bad for You're people. Your we need to keep I restaurants mean, open. You got that? Home and thousands of people have it. All right, I'll consider it. Man, what a nincompoop. All right, so currently I'm at Carl's Jr. right now. So basically, uh. This is a good place to go to because I know someone uh, 
Lucas Blake was named after, you know, a celebrity from one of my favorite movies. But yes, I'm just gonna get a burger and fries. Hey, I'd like a burger and fries. All right, sir, that'll be 813. Pleasure doing business with you. Hey! Hey, Julia, how did you get here? I was walking around and I saw you, so I thought it would be a good talk. Okay, well, here's the thing here coronavirus is for surely getting worse. One thing is that they closed the dog park, so now I can't take my dog to where he wants to go. And now I'm trying to eat outside of this nice restaurant. But I can't go to work that I got to be. This is for the protocol. I know, I just want this to be over. How about this? We'll have fun. Okay. have fun let's go on and visit Neil because my buddy Neil has COVID-19 so I'm um, hot clothes right there let's go hey Neil this is my friend Julia hi Neil <coughs> hey, hey Julia <coughs> uh, how, how are you doing <coughs> good what about you <coughs> uh, I, I'm doing okay <coughs> just worried about dying soon <coughs> that, that's all Dying? I thought the fever was going away. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> I, I, I have a cough real deep and stuff. <laughs> and uh, my fever is over 103 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing too great. But... Uh, <laughs> hey, man, <laughs> it's so good in your dog and stuff and doing all the fun stuff you do. <laughs> Neil, you've been my best friend for 14 years. Neil. Can't we? are best friends in the playgroup, with we were toddlers. We just need you to sick like this. And maybe die like this. It's terrible. Listen, if I live, I live. If I die, I die. I'm sorry. <laughs> Listen, man. Uh, you. You, you, you really shouldn't be like going out anymore and stuff like that. This is bad, man. <coughs> oh, like, like I, I honestly think you might have infected me. <coughs> hey, Alec, I'm glad you responded to Neil appropriately because this acts for everyone, but I'll pray for you and we'll have fun tomorrow. So where do you want to go?
we said we just wanted to play baseball. Get out of here. Get. 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 <sighs> Lieutenant Lou is serving. I mean, he wants to kick us out just for playing baseball. I mean, all we want to do is just play. Like, why would he do that? I know. He just wants money. All right, well... Before he gets this one, we get into more trouble. Let's just get out of here. I got to do a better job of ticketing the maskless. Uh, ticketing 259 people for not wearing masks. 172 people for improper social distancing. Six people for not wearing gloves. The CDC, Governor Newsom, and myself are trying to get cooperation with these people. Due to the global pandemic, we have a food shortage in our economy, and therefore I'm instituting an order of 15 food items at a time at the grocery store. If you want to order online, you may, but you can only order 15 items at a time per grocery store, or you will be cited and arrested. Okay, so can I get 23 items today? Not getting 20 items, you're getting 15. It's for the people who don't have jobs and need more and uh, can't make as much money. So please, please uh, only get 15 and save the rest for, for, your, for your fellow citizens. I'm calling security. Hello? Fine. Apologize now. Dude, what are you talking about? You better get your act together, otherwise you're going to have a consequence. I'll take your phone. Well, listen here. I can't be happy unless restaurants dine inside. Inside, that is. And I can't have my dog being aggressive with me unless the dog park's free open. That's the only thing that'll get things to go the right way. So please understand that, sir. Why would you say that, sir? Because life is happiness. Okay, so for as my job of the coronavirus removers, I have removed my job from that and I'm going to the coronavirus debate team. On the coronavirus debate team, I will be saying that we need to reopen restaurants and dog parks today because that's what we need to do. Thank you. You get out of here. Okay, so here's the thing here. This is a dog park. You know, I own a dog. His name is Jacob. He's a six year old black terrier. And the thing is that he loves to run around here. He loves to run around here and demand that uh, this place reopens. There's grass, there's dogs, there's sand, and it's very easy to do. Please do this. I talked to the mayor one time. He wouldn't do it. I talked to the CDC health official. The mayor wouldn't do it. I talked to the CDC health official. They wouldn't do it. But I propose that this place needs to stay open for the safety of our dogs and their lives. They can't even drink about it. I have to go to the pet store to buy their food. And he thinks that there's a lot of food that I So I'm here and drink the pet store. Well, put a mask on. If not, you're arrested. Checking in for meal. Just wanted to say some last words. Alec, <coughs> hey, listen, you are the, <coughs> the best, you are the best friend I've ever had. Everyone 
Everyone says we were two years old. <coughs> we would have fun. We would go play. We would go play out in the sand and slide. We had picnics. We could go to the beach. <coughs> uh, we would go to dance parties <coughs> together. It was so fun. <coughs> uh, we went to the library. <coughs> we played games like, like Small Chicken Planet 2. <coughs> And most importantly, <coughs> you, were the, you, you were the best friend ever. <coughs> Never forget that. And as I leave, <coughs> just please, just, just keep going. <coughs> Never, Never stop. <coughs>
I, I don't know what happened to you. Dude, uh, I literally, I literally just like fell asleep. Like I, I thought I was dead for sure, but, but, but like I just, I just took like like a, a really long nap. And oh my god, dude, I slept the best sleep of my life. Oh my god. I honestly can't believe that like, like I literally just took a nap and I'm fine. Like, dude, dude, I, I am so happy right now. Like, oh yeah, I'm so happy, dude. Right. Uh, so by the way, man, um, how, how's Julia been doing? Is she, is she well? Is she not well? How's she doing? We're not dating yet, but I like her. Yes, good for you guys. Dude, it, it's gonna be so fun. But still, but still. This is this is a freaking amazing dude. For this next part of the movie, I just want to say that COVID was really really hard for me. Like I almost died, dude. But but it all worked out because I had my parents, God, and most importantly, my best buddy Alec Carson by my side. But there were also some nice moments in the hospital too. Like there were a few good jokes every once in a while and like stuff like that. But for the most part, it was serious, and like, I was really worried I was gonna die. But I'm just glad that I finally get to go home. Hey son, how are you doing today? Okay, so things is that I'm sorry for the way I was from March to May of this pandemic. I was selfish, I didn't understand the rules, and I was the reason that Neil almost died from coronavirus. From now on, I'll just try to just deal with this better and I know that things are going to be a lot better from now on. So yes. As of right now, our cases are greatly decreasing. Beaches reopen this weekend with more restrictions, dog parks reopen tomorrow, restaurants reopen tomorrow, and you can buy up to 40 items in a store. I got this here fake ID from this kid. He better get rid of her now, because he's going to be in a lot of trouble. Finally, after months and months of waiting for this, the virus is finally uh, gone. Neil is finally alive. Most things are open. We're all back together. So let's join the community dance, the second chance. for all of us. We had plenty of chances of giving up, only we didn't. We kept going, and eventually, we got through it. We all remained hopeful, and made the best of it. A global pandemic is only a passing thing. Even the darkness in life must pass. A new, better day 
will come. And when it does, the sun will shine out clearer and brighter than ever. And as for Alec, all I know is that he is not what has happened to him throughout the pandemic. He is what he chose to become. Yeah. Uh -huh.